All right, let's go over a couple of news that we have here. Uh, Connecticut struck only mileage taxes. Uh, basically, it's the owner system for now. So basically, some of the truck drivers, some of the carriers are saying that they're gonna pay one hundred fifty thousand dollars or more through twenty twenty three, while others, while others are saying that they're not gonna pay nothing. So this is just another state tax program, like the one in New Mexico. Like the one in Kentucky, like the one in um, Oregon, Connecticut is doing the same. I, on my my own experience, we don't really pay that much. I think when we cross Oregon, if we cross it once, we pay like eighty, seventy dollars uh, for three hundred and eighty or five hundred miles. Don't remember exactly enough on the top of my head. Uh, it's something else. There's definitely an, an an add on to you know to getting loads, but you know not 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 that crazy. Uh, Trucker. So pretty much it's uh, you know it was a Ponzi scheme that this guy created, and I'm gonna be honest with you. I will definitely would have avoided this Ponzi scheme for the simple fact that so it says the Michigan scheme lure investors by telling them they will buy and operate a truck. For every twenty thousand invested, for twenty three percent of the trucks net. First, first of all, if you are into the trucking business, you know that with twenty thousand dollars, you don't get shit. Uh, at least not in. Okay, let's let's do a little breakdown of one of the trucks that I bought. I bought a truck and I put down uh, ten thousand, and I put down I think it was five or ten thousand on the trailer, so that's twenty k. But where's the rest of the money? You need to have insurance money, tag money, transfer title money. You need to actually have your first at least two weeks of diesel to run the truck. So you know this is this is this is nothing. This money is nothing. If I was actually, in order to take this serious, they should have asked for at least forty thousand dollars, and then I would knew at least forty or fifty thousand dollars, and then I would knew that yeah they're gonna get a truck on my they're gonna check they're gonna get a truck and i'm gonna get some type of net you know uh net income but yeah not like that all right so the next piece of uh, uh news media that we have here is the fact that you know and this this is going back and forth for a while this has been around for a little bit um you know uh trying to pass a reform the truck drivers get paid uh, hourly, you know, standard for trucks. I think this this is the same as the AB AB five law from California and New York, and I feel like it's gonna be every single state is gonna have. If you work for the company and if you do the primary job that they do, which is driving, for example, in this case, I will have to pay you as a W two, and I'm gonna have to pay you hourly. So I think this ties up to that concept, you know, the other news that we've been talking about since last year about AB5 law. Nothing to see here. Now this one here, he uh, actually, I mean, I hope that it's true, hopefully. Um, it's dear to my heart. This is a freight cycle expected to bottom out sooner than later. Uh, the current freight down cycle should be closer to the end than the beginning. Um, this is great news for the simple fact that we have been getting hammered. Uh, if you see here the chart, you see how it went up 2021. This is 2022. This right here, last year, I can tell you that I lost $150,000 out of packet. You know, that we did, that we made the other two years. So, you know, and that's just ours that we're a little company. Imagine those big monsters that have a thousand trucks, two thousand trucks. They saw their in their their income go down 40, 50 percent. And that's a huge hit. So if they didn't save up money, they probably went under. Um, so yeah. Uh, let me see what else is out here that we can actually take a look. Uh so this is a great one here. Uh, previously there's a law that is that is going around well that is trying to get uh, approved and go into effect that is gonna make the brokers ha they have they will have to give you the information of the load on request an example I'm trying to get a load from Florida to New York and the broker has a pay a broker has a poster for 2500 
So I call them and I'm like, yes, I would like to get the information on this load. And it's supposed to include how much the broker charge the cheaper, you know, and everything about the load. So the fact that they weren't able to revoke it, it's a good sign. I just don't know if it's really gonna, you know, go into effect the way that we are actually talking about it. Maybe the broker will give you, you know, fake numbers. Oh, you know, I got paid 3000, here it is. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of ways to manipulate the system unless the cheaper or the res well the cheaper in this case is the one that is paying the cheaper will um have a way to no you know if the cheaper and the broker they tell each other look put it for three thousand then if we have a system in place it will say three thousand and i'm getting it for two thousand five hundred so if the cheaper and the broker they decide that they want to cheat the system you know it, it won't work but if the cheaper puts it you know oh i pay five thousand the broker is telling me that it's going to pay me two two thousand five hundred and when i request the information he gives me oh look it's five thousand that, that you got charged with that information i could be like look i'll i'll take it for three thousand five hundred and you can make a thousand five hundred that's the whole idea behind it but we'll see how it goes um that's it we're good to go with the news see you guys